don't know where she came from. Kind of turned me upside down. I just don't know what to do. I want to spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t-shirts so it smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about. Good morning guys. Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. We've got a nice kind of reset vlog. We are introducing the month of April. I hope you all had an amazing March and welcomed spring with open arms because that is exactly what I'm doing. I'm looking outside right now and it's bright blue skies, which makes me so happy. Our magnolia tree in the garden is in full bloom. And honestly, I just, that for me, spring is like new starts, fresh beginnings, spring cleaning, organizing. Hopefully soon we're gonna have a renovated kitchen area and everything like that that I can really get my spring clean on very soon and organizing my kitchen of dreams. Um, but for today, I thought I would crack on with getting some spring cleaning done, have a bit of a reset day. I want to go, oh, let me just put my phone on silent. Um, I want to also um, head to Home Bargains, treat myself to some new spring cleaning products because if you need anything to get you motivated to clean, it is treating yourself to some new goodies. I thought I would just get ready with you this morning and also talk to you a little bit about today's video sponsor, which is HelloFresh. If you have been living under a rock and have never heard of HelloFresh before, it's essentially a weekly food subscription service that delivers food straight to your door. You can pick and choose how many meals you want. We personally go for three meals a week for two people, but obviously you can interchange that to suit your family, your lifestyle, whatever it is. I do actually have an amazing offer for you with HelloFresh. So you can get 60% off your first box and 25% off your next eight boxes if you use the discount code which I'll leave on screen in the description box below and in order to do that all you need to do is click the link in the description box or click the QR code on screen. I've got this from Bobby Brown never fully dressed collab very nice and there was some goodies inside which is so nice of them got a pot rouge for lips and cheeks the mini vitamin enriched base face base but i've also got a full size one that i'm going to open today smoky eye mascara and a long wear cream shadow stick which i have been loving these this one is in the shade golden bronze but yeah nice little collab and also i've got all my armani products which i was um gifted if you remember a vlog recently that i went to traffic center and had a bit of a mini makeover with them they very kindly sent me a load of products that they used so i'm going to be trying them out today but anyway back to HelloFresh. we had a gorgeous dinner last night which i had to tell you about i'll pop on screen me making it and what it looks like because it was from the premium range we've got a whole range of different meals from rapid meals family favorites winter warmers when it gets to winter or like the barbecue summery ones as we get into the warmer months and this one was one of the premium uh, meals which was duck breast with um mash on oh my gosh so good also the way that hellofresh works when they deliver it straight to your door which is hassle free but yeah they deliver the recipe cards with the corresponding numbered bags to the recipe card and it's very simple straightforward even like me if you're not like an avid cook chef you know tom's the one that's usually cooking in our kitchen the step-by-step -step instructions with imagery just makes it very simple for you to follow. We've also got all the nutritional information on the cards. If you're yet to try it and have been thinking about doing so, now is the time to do so with that amazing offer. So again, information will be left in the description box and yeah, enjoy. So thanks to HelloFresh. Let's get started with my makeup. So the only thing that I've had on my face today is my moisturizer I put on this morning. And then on top of that, I went in with the La Roche-Posay 50 Plus SPF, which I've been using every day. And honestly, I'm really enjoying it as part of my routine now. Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I have not used this for the longest time. They have very kindly sent this over to me, which I'm so grateful for. When I used to, it's the smell. It smells so good, it's like lemony. Um, I used to use this all the time. So yeah, I'm so happy to have this back within my routine now. Do we have any trips coming up? Is anyone going anywhere really exotic? 
anyone got any trips planned anyone thinking about booking trips because i certainly am ever since getting back from finland i've had that kind of initial hurdle of traveling anxiety the way my therapist described it she said like an analogy that i really enjoyed and it was with overcoming anxiety and retraining your brain it's like going through a corn maze where you've got really like big like tall corn that you have to like really struggle to get through and it's a real challenge but then next time you come around that path has already somewhat been made so it just gets that little bit easier and then next time even easier retraining my brain to think differently it's not a case of why do i feel like this what's wrong with me there is something wrong with me i'm just being a bit kinder to myself and saying it's okay you know these feelings they're okay bit of foundation i'm not going to go in with anything too heavy oh i feel like i just can't miss this step i'm sorry charlotte tilbury is just drawing me in the flawless filter this is in the shade 2.5 i'll blend it all in sometimes i just wear this and no foundation maybe a bit of concealer but otherwise uh just wear this but i feel like for the purpose of trying out the new armani beauty products i wanted to show you guys the luminous silk foundation because i feel like everyone raves about this so the shade that i have it in is three she'd also use which i've never really used for putting on foundation a really fluffy brush this is from spectrum let's just pop a bit on my I'm only going to go in with a light amount. So I'm not really doing anything other than a quick trip out to Home Bargains, to the shop. I'm actually going to go to the Trafford Centre one um, because there is also a Hotel Chocolat there and they have an offer on all the Easter chocolate today. So I'm going to head in and pick up myself and Tom and actually put it away because we've had the odd Easter egg between now and Easter. But the Hotel Chocolat ones are like a premium like treat and he's been away and i don't know he's already said oh i bought you a present from india and i'm like oh what is it um so i thought i would get as a nice yummy luxe hotel chocolat egg i'm enjoying this big fluffy brush i feel like it probably absorbs a bit of quite a bit of product on the brush but it's not left like any brush strokes or anything and it's kind of like airbrushed it out so i really enjoy that a bit of concealer on which i also need a top up of my collection for eyebrows i picked up this from benefit recently it's actually a top up of the precisely my brow pencil which i love however i forgot to check what shade that i was using before it ran out it was 2.5 when i went into store I couldn't remember and the one they recommended was 3.5 and I do feel like it's just a tad too dark for me but not enough to not use it up and then maybe next time just repurchase the lighter shade so anyway yeah I'm gonna go to the Trafford Centre home bargains today because I'll pop into the Trafford Centre and grab some hotel chocolate bits for Easter and then I may even just pop into the white company and maybe treat myself to if they've got any in stock spring scented home scented goodies i'm gonna just use my got to be schwarzkopf brow gel then let's try a, another new product from armani i think i'm gonna go in with the contour and a highlight so we'll use these to contour and highlight shall we and then there was also a blush in there as well mm, i don't know how much product to use Oh yeah, it blends quite easily. I feel like I could have a bit more, put a bit more on than that. I'm not sure if I love this application. I love the shade though. It's a really nice shade. Because, yeah, it's quite a lot, you know, of effort to get the product out. I'm just going to pop a bit of hula on top of that. Oh, that's a very purpley, neo-nude range it's called. Very purpley blush isn't it should we try it i don't think i've ever gone for a shade of blush like this i like it i feel like this actually would be a good shade in autumn to wear usually i go for more of a peachy corally color but this is like a rose but like a really deep deep rose i quite like that 
Um, anyway, yeah, so I very much live in either the past or the future. Probably the future, as in like impending, I'm thinking about what's going to happen, I'm thinking of the worst, I'm constantly thinking about what hasn't even happened yet. And I also think in the past a little bit as well, and I like hold on to things when like negative experiences that I should just let them go. Or like I overthink something that's happened and I... I think, oh, I should have said that, or oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that, or what's that gonna per person going to think about how I did that, or what I did there, or, you know, constantly thinking about stuff that's already happened that I have no control over. So just let it go. And just be grateful for what you've got today, right here. I am sat with a beautiful blue sky, sun is shining, roof above my head, a lovely dog walk this morning with fresh air, and morning coffee and all those things that I have today, I have right here, is where I need to be. Let's try the uh, highlight version of this. Oh, it's again, yeah. Just not a fan of the application for these. I mean, I like the look of them, just they're not the most user friendly. Oh, it is beautiful though. It's, it's quite a natural kind of sheer highlight as opposed to the one that I would ordinarily use, the Iconic London. That's what I'm doing. I'm living more in the present. I'm enjoying what I have here today, right in front of me, including this from Armani. This is the eye tint, and this is in the shade, is it 22? Matte brown shade. Maybe just go in with a brush, actually. I probably put a bit too much on, but just blend it out slightly. Good old favourite lip combo, the, in fact, shall I, I'll switch up slightly, I'll still use my favourite lip liner, which is the number 7 lip pencil in Nude. I usually just go with some kind of lip balm or Carmex or something on top, and I'm going to use this from Armani, and this is a beautiful kind of baby pink, but it's essentially just quite a sheer lip balm. My goodness, that feels nice. Less glossy and very much balmy. You know, if you need a good moisturising lip balm. That's really nice. Okay, so that's all done. I just need to pop a flick of mascara on. And then I will be heading out to Home Bargain. Ow, ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, when you pinch your skin. I'm going to use the new Armani Beauty. This is Eccentrico. That's what the one looks like. It's quite thick, actually see how this wears today. Oh, I like the applicator. Applicator. Oh, I feel like I said that really, really funny. This is my makeup of the day. Thanks for sticking with me during this little ramble session. Let's head over to Home Bargains now. Let's see what they've got in and then I need to pop a wash load on. I would put it in now but there's already one in there. All of Barney's towels from this morning's dog walk because he got very muddy and needed a bath, so they're all in at the minute, so as soon as I get back. Bedding is going straight in the wash, that's always the first thing I do. Oh, look at that sunshine. And I just want to tell her how I feel. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever been Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating And you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love There's something about the way she laughs And the way she always dances When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me. And I, I really get what the love oh, I've just had a little spontaneous spending spree. Got a few new bits, some new scents from the White Company, new branding as well. So who knows if they're going to change all of the old branding to this new one. But I will show you those bits when I get home. I'm loving this blush. It's definitely more like rosy than what I'm used to, but I like it. I'm gonna head over to Home Bargains now. I'm also on the hunt for the new Zaflora that I've seen is exclusive to Home Bargains. So fingers crossed for me that we can find it. And we've got all the new scents in the house today. Stay 
Yes. Oh, nearly tripped over you. Yes, I'm out of breath because yes, we've just been wrestling with you today, haven't we? This is his spring bunny that is ripped, getting ripped apart. So even he is tired, he needs to drink the water. Um, I'm gonna have a refresh of, refresh of Barney's dog, kind of like section in the, like, what is like our, basically our lounge down here. Essentially, what you class is like the cinema room with the bean bags. Um, he's got like a bed and toy basket. And I'm gonna do a bit of a switch up, get rid of any kind of like old gross toys that need throwing out. And um, I actually have some new ones. So I'll show you those later. Once I've done a bit of spring cleaning, first and foremost, I need to strip the bread, the bread, the bed. That is the first thing I want to do. I'm just sending an email that I need to. But I thought uh, before I do the bed, before I go upstairs and start cleaning, I'll show you the home bargains bits, all the other bits I got from the center upstairs. So I'll show you those later. Um, but I ended up getting a bit of a home bargain haul here, which was kind of unintentional. But for those of you that like the hauls, you're gonna like this. I'll whiz through it though. I'm not gonna like go into detail with everything. Don't worry, you're not gonna be here forever. Although it's probably is gonna end up being a long dog. Um, I got the new Zaflora Sunshine Escape. I realised I've got all my Zafloras up here. They're all kind of like, in fact, the only ones that I've got left is a pet one and festive fireside and warm cinnamon. So just Christmassy ones. So I needed to get a couple more anyway. So I got the new sunshine, sunshine? Sunshine Escape, a tropical blend of summer florals and creamy coconut with hints of fresh apple and citrus. And I also picked up a springtime one as well. I did also get the new scent in the wipes. If you get these ones, the actual wipes themselves, I know they're pet ones, which we have a pet, but regardless of whether or not you've got pets, these are really good. The floor wipes are so much better than the regular wipes. They're a lot thicker, bigger, and yeah, I tend to go through these ones quicker just because they're smaller. But anyway, I got those. And then I also got this, which I've had this plug-in before and really liked it. So it's the Febreze Orange and Neroli. I'm going to switch out my bath mat just because my one needs wash and I thought it'd be good to have a spare one. So I got this one from Home Bargains, <laughs> obviously. And it reminds me of one of the white company ones that they do, the bobble ones. Just a bit cosier than the, the other one that I have, which is actually a white company one. Um, and then I did get these. I'm gonna put out some spring decor and I thought I would pop these jars out, which are just the cutest. They're $6.99. Lemon, Sicilian lemon shortbread. Last eggs, I thought I'd put some of these. I tried to find mint imperials, couldn't find me. So Mentos mint chews. Some gorgeous new home decor bits that they've got from the home collections. Tranquility range of candle and tea light holders. I like these because they have the, the element of having both, which I think is nice. Neptune home kind of style with the whole artichoke design. That's what they look like. So you can put a tall candle or a tea light in there, which I think is so cute. I was to get two of these as like bookends once we've done the like bookshelf that we're doing upstairs, but I thought just get the one for now. And even if you put books from the end and then put that like from the end of the cupboard and then put that at the end of where the books finish. Again, another Neptune style artichoke. Toilet bleach, this one is in French Polynesian Islands Tahiti Tropical Fragrance. Oh, I just got these for our air fryer, just some liners, they're only a pound or two. And also stock up with another one of their Lux Edition birthday cards at 69p. I also saw this again, new in, in the home section and thought it was lovely, so a linen wooden frame. Egg fancies for spring that they do. Got another one of those, orange and neroli plug-in, so I'll put, put that out somewhere. And just random bits, air fryer seasoning. This is like crispy coating. They had loads of different flavors for like chicken or whatever. This one's just crispy coating, so essentially break crumbs. Other plugins that they've got of the air wick. This one is in Fresh Spring Forest. I got myself some hair clips. They've got this new range and I just really like the color of them. But these, I've never really had these before, but I've seen when people have like styled their hair and curled it and actually made an effort. 
unlike me, to just like clip your hair back without getting a line or a mark on your freshly styled hair. And then these are just good little grippy clips that I tend to use all the time. I also got this for one of the glass eggs, but you could use it for any kind of craft, I guess. They're only a pound or two, like, no, I think they're like a pound 29. I thought one of them within one of those glass eggs might look quite nice. Got some new fairy pods that I needed and some mints. And that's it from Home Bargains. So I'm gonna stop pressing now. I'm gonna get the wash load on, get my cleaning on. Okay, so time to finally start cleaning. I am just unloading the towels from the wash this morning into the uh, tumble dryer with one of these tumble dryer sheets. The N Lenore, I think it's the blue ones, the Spring Awakening, I think that's the scent it is. They are my favorite ones. Um, so yeah, dishwasher, not dishwasher, tumble dryer is on. So now time to finally strip the bed and pop a load of um, bedding in the wash. I think because our bed is a super king, I have to do it in two washers. So I do like sheets and pillowcases in one, duvet in the other. Barney's of course snoozing whilst I do it. And I'm also using this mattress deodorizer. This is from Dunelm and it just helps give it a freshen up. I just let it air for a bit before remaking the bed. One of my favorite things to do at this time of the year is to just let in that spring light, let in the fresh air, especially when I am using cleaning products, any kind of product at all. If I'm using it, I like to just air out the space and open all the windows. So it really helps when it's actually sunny outside. I'm not one for ironing my bedding. I would maybe if people were staying over it or if I was making more of an effort, but this linen bedding gets so creased that I just cover it with a throw. And that is my tactic. It does seem to like get better the more you sleep in it. And I am probably just being lazy, let's be honest. But um, yeah, if I have time, I iron. If I don't, it do I don't let it get to me. Let's just say that. And then I like to dress my bed with a couple of journals, a candle and pillow spray. These two are from Neon. They smell so good. Perfect for the bedroom. I think it's the scent to relax. And then I'm just giving everywhere kind of dust down today. Nothing needed a deep clean. I did notice my shutters were getting quite dusty though. So that is one area, especially on the back side, that I tend to neglect. After a good hoover around the whole of upstairs, I just also went round with the green minky cloth. These are great, these glass and window cloths, even without product, sometimes I'll wet the cloth as well, but they're really good for wiping any smears or anything off mirrors, dust, whatever it may be. Um, this one, the bathroom one, you know what it's like, gets flakes of toothpaste and all sorts. So I did use a bit of water and honestly, it works a charm. So easy and no need for any product either. Although sometimes I do go in with like windoline or something like that as well. Then I just wiped everything down on the surfaces and um, finished off my bathroom with a quick freshen up on my bath. I actually had this kind of hanging eucalyptus which I popped on the tap for my bath and then I also switched out my bath mat for my new one from Home Bargains. One downside to having panelled doors and panelling throughout the house is dust. You can't just simply wipe the skirting boards, you've got to wipe every single panel, which can be um, a bit painstaking, a bit time consuming, but it is what it is. Anyway, popping a wash load on now, finally getting my bedding on the go, at least my first set. And I'm loving using my um, Neptune laundry, well, it's actually fabric conditioner, this one. I do have the laundry detergent as well, but the fabric conditioner, wow, 
it's my favorite. I love the Neptune one. The new in the new order, I should say the latest one that I've got is English Fig. That was really nice. However, sadly it's been discontinued, I believe. So, if you do see it, get your hands on it. I have ordered myself some from the outlet. The with a This is another product that I have been loving, the rosemary scented um, multi-surface spray from Dalesford Farm. It is such a lovely scent. I'm kind of using it like, oh, like with anticipation for keeping as much as I can for once we've got our new kitchen done. And I feel like it's gonna be my regular cleaner for upstairs. Um, it just smells amazing. And I think rosemary in a kitchen is just the perfect scent. Uh, the Sunshine Escape is also set in the sink with some nice hot water to just fill some nice hot water, some hot water to fill the room with a lovely scent. And I've just bleached the toilets and also used the new Orange and Neroli plugin for in the hallway. I've decided to use it. Um, I know people say about with like pets using these, I, Barney doesn't seem to be affected by plugins or anything. However, I don't have them on all the time. So maybe that is why. Same with candles. When I light them, I make sure they're out of his reach and also they don't seem to affect him. So yeah, um, but anyway, I'm just lighting this candle. It's almost burnt out. So I'm just burning through it for the rest of this afternoon and also using this orange neroli spray for all of the upstairs spaces. I didn't use this one downstairs because that might be a bit too much for him. Before I carry on and pop out some spring deco, I thought I would share with you the other bits that I picked up from the Trafford Centre. Some fun little finds, I'm not gonna lie. So I know I mentioned I was gonna go to Hotel Shopper, so I did pick up an Easter egg for myself and Tom. Uh, we're gonna share can say our first pounds each. This is the Just Milk one. They've got all the different like flavors, but I figured sometimes just keep it simple, you know? And then there's loads of like chocolates inside. But look how thick the egg is. If you like an extra thick egg, that's how they describe it. Hotel Chocolat is the place to go. And then I also picked myself up, just so that I don't get tempted to have the Easter egg before Easter some treats which I have delved into. These are my absolute favorite, all time favorite chocolate from Hotel Chocolat. And it is the walnut praline white chocolate like little bites, so yum. I also picked up, I've seen these. Each time I go into Hotel Chocolat, I'm like, I really like them. So I decided to treat myself, but I got one of each. They do two different designs. They do another one that I've not got. Yeah, okay, so they actually do three different designs. They do, I'll show you them on the back. The chat, which I've got, and the hug, which is this one. They also do the spark. I don't know which one I prefer, to be honest with you. This one is the hug. So it's like a polished ceramic here, and then just a matte stone kind of ceramic finish along the bottom. This one's fully ceramic, like shiny ceramic. But yeah, so they're kind of like matching, but not. They were on offer two for £10. So that's what I got from Hotel Chocolat. Then I went to Lakeland to pick myself up a fresh new pair of gloves. You guys know I love these moisturising gloves. They are so nice. I know they're a washing up glove, but I will... I don't think I'll ever go back to just like a marigold pair of gloves. So they're just like super soft on the inside so they don't leave you with that horrible like clammy sweaty hand thing that you get with cheaper gloves. And then whilst I was in there I also saw these. Now I'm after some like cleaning products like bleach whitening products that aren't too harsh and I know Wilton London it was kind of more of a premium range for the laundry detergent and fabric conditioner that they do. They also do this Oxy laundry bleach which is for um, stain remover and whitener. So I'm gonna try that in, maybe next time I do my bedding, I might try that, give it a go, um, and just see how it is, because I do sometimes feel like white bedding or towels as well, just tend to go a little bit dull over time. So yeah, I'll give that a go and let you know what I think. And then I popped into Starbucks, like I said, I got myself a ginger shot, and then I also picked up one of these, like, um, what they called, like a plastic tumbler for, iced drinks in the summer and then I picked up some coffee beans in the spring season blend. So then I went to Dior, Dior, I went to Boots 
and I saw this offer on, I actually went into Boots to get a, um, you know I mentioned this morning I needed some new concealer, so I got the Lasting Perfection Concealer, and since I bought mine, they've actually changed their packaging. Got myself a new one, I went for the shade number three, Ivory. Yeah, so whilst I was in Boots getting that, I saw that they had um, on the fragrance bit, which like you kind of walk through to get to the makeup. So they had this offer on where if you get a perfume from Dior, if you get one of them, you get this for free. This clutch for summer. How nice is that? It's just a plain, straw clutch but it usually these kind of free gifts that come with the perfume say like Dior Parfum or like you can tell that it's a freebie from a perfume but this is like nice it's just plain on the back and also the actual zip and hardware is like a beautiful cream so that even as a little clutch with it for summer or even just like as a little makeup bag to go within a handbag I just thought it was really nice and you do also get some little samples in here too. Purifying foam cleanser and then a lip maxima dual addict in 001. I feel like I'm actually going to really like these. These are quite popular these lip oil things aren't they? Let's try it on because I feel like my lips are a bit dry. This is obviously just a mini. It's a baby baby. Good for like popping within a clutch. Yeah, it's not got exactly loads of colour to it. It's just like a nice, just like a nice lip oil. Oh, it's minty. I thought I would mention it whilst they have them because if anyone else wants to get themselves a nice straw deal clutch. So if I'm being completely honest, the perfume itself, this one was on offer. This one was reduced down to £79. And I don't need another perfume. So I'm going to gift this. To one of you guys, whoever wants it, just pop in the comments below. Maybe pop your Instagram handle just so that I know how to reach you as the chosen winner. I'm just going to run the giveaway on this channel. I'm not going to do it anywhere else. So if you do want this, all you have to do is just comment something, whatever you want. Um, but just make sure to include your Instagram handle. Uh, the only kind of criteria maybe is if that you're a subscriber of my channel follow me on Instagram. It can be any Instagram, like my homeware or my regular one, Freya Frankton one, or my homeware, Freya Frankton home, whichever you prefer, or Barney's. If you prefer to follow Barney, Barney the Great Golden has an Instagram as well. And then last but not least, ah, the Holy Grail, the White Company, my favourites. I did a little bit of damage. I am gonna light these and get them going and get the most out of using them because I just don't, I don't wanna save these. I wanna enjoy them. They usually come boxed, however, these were the only two they had left and they were both kind of like out as testers with like a glass dome over them. And so they still smell incredible. They've held their smell really well, but um, yeah, because they were kind of testers, they were the only ones left. So I couldn't get them boxed up, not testers, but you know, like they've not been burnt obviously. They just weren't in their boxes. So if you order them online, they come in a really nice box. Good for, again, if you're wanting to buy it as a gift for someone. But yeah, Mouthy Lemon is this new scent that they had pumping throughout the store on their little oil things that they do. And it smelt so good. So I got the oil as well. I love an oil. This one is um, £10. And the candles are 35 Candles are bigger than the usual, like, single £20 candles or however they might however much they are now. They're double wick ones, so they are bigger. I actually prefer this branding to the one they use. They didn't actually have the spring scent in. They'd sold out. They had all the summer um, oils and fragrances, diffusers, candles, but I didn't want summer yet. I'll do another summer clean when we get round to it. It's spring, okay? We're not jumping to summer already. So, so happy with my brand new Amalfi lemon. Lemon neroli and cedarwood. <sighs> Smells good. clearly need to do a hoover down here because this is where you are most of the time isn't it i have to admit having a dog it is especially a golden retriever 
hair is a problem however having hard floors is far easier because like he's sniffing there tends to gather in like balls so it's really easy to just hoover up I do tend to hoover most days, however I haven't hoovered for a good couple of days, so that is why there's quite a lot today. Can you see these little clumps here? I don't know if this is exposing myself on the internet here, but hey ho, that little clump there. So I'm going to grab the hoover, hoover up all of downstairs, give it a mop as well, and then we're going to have a switch over of your toy basket, because Christmas Moose is looking a little bit scraggly, isn't he? Back to a little more cleaning and I am just hoovering up all of those pesky dog hairs and I did give the floor a quick mop as well. And then also I just wanted to mention if ever you're thinking about stacking a washer and dryer, definitely get one of these systems, the stackable systems with the drawer, the pull out drawer. Just makes life so much easier for when you're folding your laundry. Um, and yeah, I, I just would highly recommend it. So I thought I would mention that. Just emptied the filter with all the kind of lint and fluff that builds up over time and also emptied the water drawer. And then time to head into the kind of pet area in the cinema room. Just kind of freshening things up with the um, throws and everything first. Right, it's time to give Barney's section a bit of a refresh. I'm gonna clean this polar bear, there's nothing really wrong with it, it's just dirty, so I'm gonna pop that in the washing machine, along with this throw, which has been on for a few days now, so that's gonna go in the wash. And then um, I also took off the legs to this bed, this is the omelette bed, which I really like, it comes with like a beige cover as well, which I might switch it out soon, but for now that uh, chocolate one's all right, it's a bit of a faff to get that cover off, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, I took the legs off because the metal was like scratching along the floor. Let's get you a new throw for your bed. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> is that nice? And then in terms of his toys, let's have a bit of a zhuzh. I got this from Matalan, this toy basket, and I really, really like it. It's just like a bone-shaped wicker basket that I think looks lovely in this room. So can't get rid of this toy. This is the one and only toy, honestly, that he doesn't even play with. But this is the toy that you came home with, didn't you? Two years ago. So this was one that the breeder gave him. He doesn't even play with it, but I can't get rid of it. And then we've got some like Santa tennis ball. <laughs> So I'm going to take these out on our walks with us next time we'll have it as like a ball that he can play with in the garden because I've got some new ones. So first and foremost, I'm going to pop his cow. I always used to call this a lamb. <laughs> it's a cow. His cow back in his toy basket and that can go at the bottom seeing as though he doesn't really play with it anyway. And then I've got some new goodies from Pet Hamper. They're very kind of sent over. And then I also bought from the Lambing Shed Farm Shop in Nutsford. I've got like a whole pet section. So Barney's got a new chew toy. It's like really nice kind of hessian heavy duty toy that I feel like he'll enjoy giving a good chew. Oh. Oh boy, there you go, that's your new toy. Uh, so I got that and then I also got this from Sainsbury's. This was like just really random. I saw it and they were in the clearance and I thought I'm going to have to get one for Barney. It's a cute little fluffy teddy bear. Is that your new toy? There you go. And then what else did I get? That's it that I bought myself. And then yeah, Pet Hamper, who I have been a customer of before. I've recommended them in gift guides. I think they're an amazing company for... Uh, gifting for pet owners or for your pet. They kindly sent me over some new bits with the spring collection now in and oh, in fact they've even given me a discount code so I might as well mention this to you now. So Freya Easter 20 will get you 20% off until the 6th of April so you have to be quick. We got some new tennis balls. They come in these linen sacks which I just think is so nice and they've just got on there their little kind of logo. This one just says make fetch happen and then this one's got their little bone logo and they're all just beige and neutral which you guys know i love and then again that one has pet hamper logo and then it says love at first bark so he's got some new tennis balls that can go in your oh, I need one out of three 
very good, is it? So cute. The brand is Mutsy UK. And yeah, it's a little rope toy. And it's got cute little bunny ears. Love that. What's this, Marnie? Get it. Come on, get it. Get it. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Let me cut off the label. And you can have that. There you go. There you go. So we've got him that. And then I also, this is my favorite. It is the cutest from the Heritage Collection. The cutest little tweed fluffy bunny for Easter. I think you'll like that. He quite likes soft cuddly toys. So yeah, that's that. And then last but not least, I'm sure Barney's favorite will be. Oh, it's got a squeaker too. And then yeah, Barney's fave I'm sure will be these. Denzel's grapes. These ones are the spring bites, lamb, carrots, and spring veg. Oh, it's like your birthday, isn't it? That nice. We'll put them in your tree jar, shall we? Take them on a walk later on. So yeah, thank you so so much to Emily at Pet Hamper. As always, love all your products, and um, you have spoiled Barney rotten. So thank you. But it's been So I just popped some of the straw and also the white company eggs. I've got one glass and two of the white ones and I really like how it is just as home decor. So not necessarily in the kitchen, we could pop that anywhere. However, the second egg, this has clearly been like a return or something because the second egg, not only is the lid missing, but also the bottom has some sweets in it. So there's no top and that's just what it looks like. So I either, don't bother returning it, bin these sweets because who knows where they've come from or how long they've been in there. And just popping that next to it and having that one open with like a couple of mints in or something. Uh, what do I do or do I return it and just make sure I get the full set? I feel like I might return it guys. So I decided to go with the Sicilian lemon shortbread, which can I say, these were amazing on the egg plate and a couple of fondant fancies on the bunny cake stand. It's only a small cake stand, I will say that, but cute nonetheless. I am filming or recording this part a day later and I did decide to take those egg eggs back to uh, Home Bargains to get replacements. So I moved the bigger one into the corridor in the end. And then I just finished off that finishing touch with the new Amalfi lemon scent in my filming room. And again, I popped one of the, like the second candle on the um, kind of like hallway console down in the basement so that I've got the scent down there too, because it is just so good. It's too good not to have it across both floors. hope you have enjoyed today's video and I hope you feel that spring in your step with spring now here and the bit of motivation that you perhaps needed to get cleaning, get organizing um, and yeah I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Just a chilled one for the rest of the night for me and Barney, isn't it? Yeah. He's done here. Um, on the menu for tonight is this which I'm so looking forward to, the Tex-Mex. Chipotle spice cheeseburger, chips, guacamole, and charred corn salad. Delicious. But yeah, just a reminder to check out HelloFresh via the link in my description box or the QR code on screen. And make sure to take advantage of that off whilst it's on. It's 60% off your first box, 25% off your next eight. So yeah, enjoy guys. I know you're gonna love it just as much as I do. Thank you to them for very kindly working with me on today's video. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.